During my early days traveling China, Qinghai Lake was the first place I visited on the Tibetan Plateau. Fabled for its azure saline waters that ripple to the horizon's edge, this is China's largest and most famous lake. As a photographer, it magnetized me, but we can't take the lake's pristine condition for granted. There's a human story here as well. Hi, I'm Kyle Oberman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. While from the shore, it's hard to imagine the waters here being any less than perfect, this wasn't always the case. This area is the Tibetan Plateau's most densely populated region, and it's also popular for agriculture and raising livestock. Even the vibrant tourism industry promotes agriculture. The lake's famous yellow rapeseed flower shores aren't natural to the region, but a popular draw for tourists wanting to take photos, and it's not hard to see why. These human pressures threaten the lake. Particularly with little regulation, fertilizer and nutrient runoff from agriculture and livestock began to pollute the waters. While the lake itself was protected, there was a lack of oversight regarding land management around the lake. Warming temperatures and increasing input began to change the turbidity of the water. Microplastics also began to show up in the waters, particularly those close to tourist sites. But in recent years, the leaders of Qinghai have clamped down on regulating the lake shore and surrounding land, strictly raising the standards for its protection. In a recently published management plan for the lake stretching until 2035, the government called for better control of agricultural and livestock runoff, resulting in reductions of 30 to 40 percent in pilot sites. The government also invested almost 100 million USD into a series of wastewater treatment plants and monitoring stations around the surrounding land areas, ensuring that the water runoff into the lake isn't a source of added pollution. Now the lake is on the list of potentially new national parks in China, which would further enshrine its protected status in China's government system. Qinghai Lake is one of China's most standout beautiful places, but it's also a classic story of how the government is now prioritizing ecological conservation in the country's most precious natural areas.